right, everybody. Uh, keep going on this uh, topic two review here. And topic two review, we're up to problem 11, almost a third of the way done. So these are 2.8 All right, so we're supposed to just factor this. Hopefully you remember how to factor, but on a problem like this one, especially when you have no leading coefficient, the x times the x right there multiplies this multiplication in the middle, remember? So these two multiply to get that x squared. Some people like to do it in the rectangle. So call this a generic rectangle. So like x times x gives me my x squared so far. Then I need two numbers that are gonna multiply to a negative 18. Those are gonna go here and here, or they're gonna go here and here. So obviously one's negative, one's positive, but they multiply to a negative 18. And we want them to combine to a negative three. So I'm thinking negative six, positive three. So if you can do that just in your head, do those two combine? If I add them up, I guess when I multiply these, they're going to also have the x on them, right? This three here is times this x here. And this negative six here is times this x here. So then I'm going to have a negative 18 right here. If you're, if you watched other videos, so this is going to be my answer that they want me to type in. This rectangle is showing the same as this in parentheses. If you watched the uh, one other method that I explained at one time on the uh, earlier videos in topic two, and I explained how you can put your x squared term right down there the negative 18 in the diagonal, multiply those two together to put up here. So x squared times negative 18 is negative 18 x squared. And then the middle, the middle term, in this case, the negative 3x right down here. And then you do two things that multiply to this, but add up to these, so then you can go with your negative 6x, positive 3x. They multiply to negative 18x squared, but if you add the negative 6x and 3x together, they add up to, and then you put those in these other two corners, and you do the outside boxes. So x and x get this x squared, a negative 6 to multiply by this to get there, and a positive 3. So there's just another way of doing that factoring. So good luck. If you need more practice, don't forget on the bottom, view an example, help me solve this. And after we type this in and submit it, you know, it's going to say similar problem. If you just need to practice more problems to make sure that you get really good at this. This factoring is one of those things that um, the sooner you get efficient with it, it doesn't really go away as you do future math. It seems like factoring is one of the things that keeps coming back to haunt you if you don't get fairly efficient at it. So good luck. You got this. More practice if you need it.